All right, so if you got a head start on this, awesome. Okay, so uh, back when you were little, you lined up your math to do adding. We're going to do the same thing. Okay, so first we'll start by figuring out how many atoms of each um, atom, okay, of each element there is. Okay, so how many carbons do I have? One. How many hydrogens? Hydrogens do I have? Four. Okay, how many oxygens do I have? One. Okay, so now let's look up what the molar mass is. So the molar mass of carbon is 12.01 grams per mole. How many do I have? One. So let's just put times one so we have good practice at how to do it. Okay, so 12.01 grams per mole. What's the molar mass of hydrogen? I don't know, ask the periodic table. Excuse me, periodic table. What's the molar mass of hydrogen? Oh, well, you see, it's 1.01 .01 grams per mole. Isn't that British? Okay, times four. The math. Okay, we have one oxygen. What's the molar, excuse me, textbook. What is the molar mass of Oxygen, well, you see, it's 16 grams per mole. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you telling me. Okay, so when you were little, you added this up. One, two, three, like this. You put a line like this, and then you went like this. You went one plus four plus zero is five, zero, zero, zero. You put your little decimal, and then you should have lined it up a little better, so the 4 is under the 2. 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 6 is 12. Carry the 1, remember, carrying the 1. And 3. Okay, so the molar mass of CH3OH. Ah, you're going to be in my video, whoever's having cereal. <laughs> There, that's how you do it. That's all right. Sure, what is it? You can if you want to. You're going to end up with the same thing, right? So you could put hydrogen is 1.01 .01 times 3 plus hydrogen, which is 101 times 1, right? But you're going to get the same answer. Good question. It's funny you say that because I kind of thought that myself when I was looking at it. Okay, I just did it at once because I like to be efficient with my time. Translation, I'm lazy. I mean, I'm not lazy. I like to be efficient with my time. Okay, so let's go back to page 108 to find out what the other question was. Okay, Na2SO4. Okay, sodium sulfate. So let's take it apart. How many sodiums? I have two. How many sulfurs? One. How many oxygens? Four. Okay, so now let's ask the, te the textbook, periodic table, what the molar mass of each of these things are. And we're not rounding it. Okay, that's what usually people do, is they round it, and you're not supposed to. Okay, so there's two atoms of sodium. There's one atom of sulfur. And there's four atoms of oxygen. Hey Siri, what's 22.99 times 2? She's so nice. Okay, maybe you guys know what 16 times 4 is, but I don't really, like, 24, 64, over 64. I like to check, though, just in case you know. 
Uh, hey Siri, what's 16 times 4? Yeah, I had it right. Okay, and let's put decimals because why not? And it looks nice, right? We're always writing tidy, tidily. Put a line underneath. And we're going to be using my calculator button this time on a real calculator because in a test you're not supposed to have a phone as your calculator. So if you don't have one, go to the dollar store and get one. Okay, or get one of those graphing calculators because you need it anyway. Even though they're like a million dollars. There. Okay, that's how you do that one. So I'm going to do the next one, but no peeking. Okay, I'm not going to show you what the answer is right away. Okay, so I want you to try it on your own. Okay, so I'm writing number 15 right here, but you can't see it. Okay, try it on your own. Can you at least tell me the question? Sure. The question from the textbook is CO2. Okay, why don't you do both? Okay, let's do CO2 and, oh, of course we get a long one. We always have to level up and challenge ourselves. It's so mean they do like a super easy one and then a super hard one. But that's fine. We got this. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Mark it set. Do carbon dioxide. So I'm not sure if you're quite as quick as I was, but that's all right. And um, it's okay if you make mistakes, right? I, I'm pretty lazy. I don't like erasing, and my pen is not erasable, this one, the green one. So I just scratch it out. It's way faster. Okay, so 14.01 grams per mole is how much you have for one atom of carbon, two atoms of oxygen, 32, and your total is 46.01. Okay, so now let's do this one. And what you need to realize is this is a bracket thing. Remember that bed, bed mass thing from math? Okay, I don't remember exactly what that all does, but um, this means that you have three nitrogens. And this means you actually have 12 hydrogens. Okay, so let's take it apart. So, three nitrogens, 12 hydrogens, one phosphorus, four oxygens. Okay, so now let's do the rest without peaking. Oh, Ms. Boheja, you messed up. Carbon wasn't 14.01, that was nitrogen. Carbon's 12. Way to go. See how I just cross it out? It's faster. A little bit messier. But I still get the right answer. Okay. Oops, we're hiding. Okay, you're doing it.
Okay, so here's how you do. We got three nitrogens, 12 hydrogens, one phosphorus, one oxygen. Okay, now what is your teacher going to get mad about by looking at this? Nothing, it's perfect. Not putting the units. Okay, you got to put grams per mole. Okay, we need to see what you're measuring in all the way along. Okay, otherwise they're just random numbers. Okay, and stay tuned to the next video for the final answer. Just kidding. Okay, I got 4, 149.12.